What's up, Marvel fans? What's up, Daredevil fans? Welcome back. Today might be Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have another cool one. A childhood favorite of mine. One of my favorite superheroes of all time. From Toy Biz, we bring you the famous cover series, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Let's bring this guy in. Guys, this is a cool, cool action figure. Uh, cool character, Marvel character, and Toy Biz, a toy company that created an 8-inch action figure line in the, the late 1990s, really brought to life a lot of the superheroes, Marvel superheroes, that we didn't have for those of us that grew up in the 1970s and early 1980s with Mego. So this was a, a a a really cool shot in the arm for collectors and for toy enthusiasts back in the late 1990s to get their hands on Marvel superheroes in an 8-inch figure style, Mego figure style, that they simply couldn't get back in the day. So Toy Biz did a great job, I think, with this toy line. It was a toy line that, though, because I, I was so into to G.I. Joe, I simply didn't know much about them. So now I, I have to get these guys on secondary market. But uh, they are. I am hooked on these guys now. Um, I am it, it, totally hooked on these guys. Let's open this guy up and take a look at him. We all know the backstory and the origin of uh, Daredevil. But as a curator, it's my job to kind of point some things out. Um, Matt Murdock grew up in Hell's Kitchen. And uh, a very tough area of New York. And basically he was uh, injured when some radioactive goo or or fluid whatever you want to call it hit him in the face thereby blinding him but giving him a sixth sense if you will a radar built-in radar which to me uh made him that was the connection i just thought he was so cool because for the most part uh matt murdoch aka daredevil is a regular human being without any supernatural or mutant powers. You know, he was giving these, these, and you could call it really small powers, if you will, by way of accident. But it didn't give him superhuman strength or anything like that. So, uh, and it blinded him. So, you know, you have a superhero, a blind superhero. The concept is fantastic so kudos to stan lee and his team at marvel for coming up with a a a superhero that could really connect with the general public and here at toy biz this is a classic um daredevil that i, I grew up with in the late 1970s and early 1980s and you'll get some people that'll complain uh, collector-wise or collector enthusiasts, I should say, about the head sculpt and the bodies. Uh, but once again, that was the charm of these uh, Toy Biz figures. They weren't supposed to be Mego. You know, and I think a lot of um, Mego enthusiasts, they, they, we were kind of looking for a Mego-like figure. But this was a Mego like figure, so it was hit and miss with these guys. Uh, but because I am a, a collector, a museum curator, and an owner of a museum, 
I want all of these action figures from different genres, from different toy lines um, that really kind of displayed their action figures the way they saw the action figures. So everybody has their own version of what Daredevil looked like physically and, and all of that costume wise. Here's the oven mitts though. And in this glove, you can't see it that good. There's a connector inside of this glove that allows Daredevil to piece together his, his truncheon and slide it right into that slot into his glove. Now, our Daredevil won't have to use that. As you can see, he's everything's sealed in there. And these figures didn't come with fasteners. So these molded uh, boxes, containers that held them, fit real snug on the figure really holding the figure in place. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful outfit. And there's the double D for the Daredevil logo on his chest, made out of special material. And you'll get people complaining that the, the Ds are not in the right place. Um, they weren't positioned right. But once again, we're talking about the charm of a 8-inch Really, this is a 9-inch figure. They're a little bit bigger than Mego. But this is the charm of this 9-inch uh, figure and how it was created and designed. Um, it wasn't perfect, and that was the charm of these uh, Marvel uh, famous cover figures from Toy Biz. They weren't perfect. That was the charm. And that's why I'm so hooked on these figures. I wasn't looking for perfection, you know, we were looking for some really cool figures uh, that could kind of breathe life back into the 8-inch figure line back in the late, teen, late 1980, uh, 1990s. I'm sorry. This Billy Club holds it beautifully in here. Belt. A lot of people don't like this uh, head sculpt that... I've heard some people say like something dropped on his foot and he's yelling. Uh, this is an action type of a yell or a comic book, more comic book version. You know, you always see the the figures, you know, screaming or yelling with their mouths open in the uh, in the um, the comic book. And this is another uh, twist on that type of you know line there. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Museum channel. Please like and subscribe. We would like to have you a part of the family, and this is what we're doing. We got some time off, a few days off from work. And I said, let's come down here to my museum, and let's, uh, let's do some reviews. And today we're hanging out with the man without fear, Daredevil himself, from Toy Biz, famous cover series. Guys, what do you think about our Dare Daredevil figure? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? We would like to hear all of that. Leave your comments right in the, underneath the comment section and underneath this video. Let's turn this box around. Uh, once again, these boxes are made beautifully. Um, here's our Aunt May figure. Not saying too much. <laughs> I don't think anybody got this figure. Let's get you a year. Yeah, 1998. These were some of the coolest packaging, box packaging systems I've, I've seen. Uh, and you, you know, you're joining two genres the action figures genre and a comic book genre 
a two-in-one, if you will. A Marvel two-in-one. There you go, guys. There's my That was from my comic book, guys. Marvel two-in-one. <laughs> Some cool comic books. There's Daredevil fighting the Submariner. And what kid in the late 1990s seeing this on a toy store shelf didn't want this figure? I mean, a comic book styled box with the action figure inside. You couldn't beat that. Just beautifully done. And like I said, we're we're hooked on these figures, so I will be uh we've placed a lot of orders and we have a lot that just came into our museum. So expect to see a lot more of these beautiful figures on videos and reviews. And uh, we're just hooked on these figures right now. Guys, you know the routine. We got more fun in store for you. Stay tuned. Kick back. Grab you something to drink. God bless. And keep collecting.